Miss Gail with Traders Help Desk. And in this video, I actually wanted to answer a question about when to exit your binary option. Now, as most of you know, I actually like using out of the money binary options. And generally, I'm using a 15 minute chart. And in this case, you can actually go down to a five minute chart and decide whether you want to exit or not and i use it even to filter some of the entries um, that the binary signals generate for example most of you have heard that when the atr flips it will go back and retest the atr if you've been through any of my training at all that's the way the atr works that's the way support and resistance works so for example here even though you had a buy entry Looking at this chart, I would not want to enter this because this ATR has already held. Now, it does not matter to me that this says it expired in the money. What matters to me is that it has already tested for resistance and I am trying to go long. So uh, to me, this is a no-go. Now we come over to the next signal and as you can see, you have a buy signal here. You're also at a congestion dot, which is going to act as support, and you're overextended on the stochastics. So to me, this is one that, yes, I would have taken. Now, although this has hit a profit target over here, my exit would have been right up at this ATR when it clearly showed that it was not going to break the ATR, it was coming back to test this congestion dot area. So in this case, this would have been a break even trade. Um, I don't think I would have made anything out of that, probably would have gotten out at break even. Now the next trade comes in right over here, and you can see that it's right at the ATR when the signal is issued this congestion dot formed okay now i'm already in the trade at this point and when it came back and tested over here i would have taken whatever the market offered in this case it was probably about 20 bucks knowing the markets now let's go through some other examples and in this case you can see that you're going short right at the line of congestion dots. Again, it's moving up to test for resistance. It found resistance. Now it's going to move down. And in this case, again, you see that the ATR is holding and I would have been out on this particular bar. If we continue, okay, you can see here you have a short entry and these are coming off of the 15 minute, not the five minute, okay? So it goes up to the congestion dot, manages to close above it, and of course, then it comes down. Now, this is one that as soon as I saw that it closed above that congestion dot, if I can exit and minimize a loss, that's exactly what I do. Then we go to the next one. And you can see that you have a short here. My preferred entry would have actually been about here because this is where you're actually overextended. This to me is like a perfect trade setup. You have a short generated. It comes to test the congestion dot and the stochastics is overextended. To me, this is the money trade, okay? If I had one money trade, this would be it. Then you can also see that you have another entry over here, okay? So you have an entry here, and even though it's an entry, I would filter this out because it has already tested this ATR and showed that this may act as support also broke through the congestion dots here and you can tell this is about one o'clock in the morning you know even though it made profit i would not have been in that trade it's really that simple to me then as we progress you can see here it's like the perfect setup again 
you're at the congestion dot, okay? And when you get the signal, you're really overextended down here on the stochastics. Again, this is the money trade, okay? Here, you get the signal on this bar, and you could have either entered on that bar, or you could wait and let it test the congestion dot before it starts to come down. Either one of these would have been a profitable trade. Here you have another one where it has tried to test the congestion dot. It did not break it, but when it comes back to test this ATR, it does not break it. You need to exit your position. Of course, you would need minimum is the trend ATR indicator as well as the stochastics. And this is just additional filtering that actually this strategy cannot do. I have tried to do it. It just will not function properly. So, you know, again, here's one to the upside. You are at the congestion dots. You've already been overextended. You're expecting it to go up and it does. Now the next one, you can see this has already broken through the congestion dot. I would immediately either filter that one out or wait until you get a scenario where you're at the congestion dot, but it holds. It doesn't break through. This is a buy. It should not have broken through. Just moving forward on the chart, highlighting the ones that have appeared. We had a lot of slow movement and... Here you have another one. Now this is not the money trade setup, okay? Because you can see the stochastics is not overextended. If you did take that and it tested this ATR and did not break it, you need to go ahead and close your position. And those are the ones that typically do not expire in the money. Instead, you know, they may offer 15 to $20 a contract and, and that's it. So if you don't take profits real quick, then you're not going to get it. Again, this is the one I said, if it breaks that congestion dot, you know, you need to just exit your position. In this case, it broke the congestion dot and then gave you a buy signal. No, don't even think about it. Mm -mm. That is not going to work. Here's another one. It came, flipped the ATR, came back and tested it, came back and tested it a second time. Now, this is your money trade setup. You're at the congestion dot. You're overextended on the stochastics, showing that it's going to push down. And that's exactly what happens. It pushes down on you. Now, I would personally exit when it gets to this ATR and just hesitates. It does not flip it. That's the important part. It does not flip it. Okay, so you need to go ahead and get out of it. This is another one. It comes in and you can see you didn't even get a congestion dot here. Okay, when you see something like that, you don't enter that trade. That is a no-go trade. And again, I'm just scrolling through trying to find one. Again, here you get one, but you see it's already broken through the congestion dots. Do not attempt to enter that trade now on this one this was a buy and you are at the congestion dot okay that's what you would anticipate and you are overextended on the stochastics this trade you would anticipate it working out it just goes nowhere for a while and then eventually goes up this is one either you would have exited when it closed here or you just st stuck with it and hoped for the best. I don't do a lot of hoping in my trades, but just that's what usually happens. <clears throat> Here, again, this is your money trade. You are at the congestion dot, overextended on the stochastics. You go through the ATR, which is what you would anticipate. You know, this is the trade that will make you money, typically. Now, sometimes when it's coming back to test this ATR, you do have to make sure this ATR is above your strike or 
that as it's approaching it, it is overextended or you're going to have to exit your position. Um, I believe that your job as a trader is to take profits and that's what you need to do. Now, this is one at the time that you really had the entry, you didn't know that it broke through the congestion dot. And this is one, again, you see that it came back to test that ATR. If you were in this trade, this is your exit point. It's not flipping that ATR. You need to get out. And again, this just requires you to pull up a five-minute chart. You can pull up a five-minute chart in Nadex and just read the stochastics. It doesn't equal mine. Um, mine actually is a little bit better. But... You know, if you don't have it, then you have to use what you have. So, again, this is really nice setup. You can see that you're at the ATR and you're at the point of being overextended. This is going to be a money trade, okay? These are really good to do those risk levels at $30 for a potential to make, you know, $60 on. But, again, you have to read your charts. And if you don't know how to read your chart, then you can't really use this technique. But if you can read charts, this is an excellent technique to even filter, you know, a couple of losing trades out of.